All right, this next tip is really, really handy for anybody that shoots outdoors, like shooting landscapes or shooting in a studio. The reason why is two of the hardest places to find dust and specks and things on your sensor is in a light blue sky, or even a dark blue sky for that matter, or on a white background or a gray background or some kind of a light colored background. What happens is you completely miss the spots. They kind of blend in until it's too late. So you either print it for a client or you print it for yourself and you realize, oh, I can see spots. Well, I'm gonna show you the old way that we used to do it because there was a trick to do it before and I'm gonna show you the new way. So the old way was pretty handy. You'd go to the tone curve and then you would click right here about the, a quarter of the way up and drag your cursor up. All right, then you'd click at the top and drag your cursor down. And then you'd click at the bottom and drag back up. And then you'd take this little point and drag back down. You basically make two hill shapes and you could start to see, look, there's, there's a spot there, there's a spot there, there's a spot up there. And the more you dragged, if you did three or four of these, you could really come up with a nice way to be able to see the spots. Yeah, see, now you're really seeing those spots. Pull them up a little bit here and look, there's spots there, 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 there. There's like five or six spots. And those are things that you might have missed any other way. And when you were done, you would just go back to where it says point curve and choose linear. So at least you could see where the spots were and you could remove them using the spot removal tool. But in Lightroom 5, they added something really cool and new. If you go to the spot removal tool and you look over here down in the toolbar, there's a thing called visualize spots. So this is designed to help you find spots and specks and junk in your photo. Click on it and you can see a couple of spots there, but see this slider? This is the intensity slider. Watch what happens when I drag it to the right. Look at all those spots. Look at all those spots I would have missed. So what you do now is while you have that tool, go over here and just click right over the spots and they're gone. It uses the healing brush technology to get rid of them. You can click right on them. All right, you can see there, I hit the letter H. Letter H hides them and shows them if you want. You can get rid of those. Now this is a real mess up here. What are you gonna do? Well, in Lightroom 5, you now have a healing brush. You can actually just paint them away. And what this shows, by the way, is it's showing here's where the fix is. See the little arrow and point? It's saying, I'm using this clean area over here, which it chose to fix that area. So if you look at another one of these, you can, you can see a little better. For example, let's zoom in. I'll give you a better example here. I mean, I don't want to just perhaps zoom in that, that close. You have two circles here. So the thinner, the thicker circle, when you click on it, shows you this is the area you, you fixed. This is showing you this is where the fixing came from. This is the part of the image I used to fix that. And if, when you move your cursor over and you see that little hand, that's in case it picked a bad spot. What if it, you don't like where it chose or it looks weird or it accidentally chose or closed to fix that? You can move it to a different spot and it will resample and try again. So that's how we get rid of spots today. We use the visualize spots feature and the spot tool. And also, again, I, I mentioned this earlier, if you press the letter H, it hides those from view. If, if, if that bothers you, and it bothers me, <laughs> I use that quite a bit. Little H1 just hides things and shows news. Every time you plus H, toggles back and forth.